Hey guys, so this is the second video on this Kohler engine, actually the third, because the first one was just talking about the unboxing of it and everything. The second video was cleaning the carburetor and showing how the linkages were set up. And obviously this is a new engine, so it didn't actually need clean, so we'll just walk you through it. And this next repair on this video is going to be a slightly more uh, complicated repair. It's adjusting the valves, the valve clearance. And it's not something you have to do like right now on a new engine, obviously, but usually after like 100 hours or so, you might start noticing a little valve tick or something, or the compression release may not be working. It might be a little hard to crank over, so you may have to adjust the valves. So in order to do that, we got to get this valve cover off, and you can do it without having to take the exhaust shroud off and any, everything, anything else, but it's just going to block the view, so we're going to take the exhaust uh, shield off and maybe the muffler too, just to kind of give you a little bit better view of it. So I'm going to do that off camera because it's not something you necessarily have to do but it just makes it easier to get to the bolts and everything which are all 10 millimeter every single bolt on this engine just about is 10 millimeter even the drain plugs are 10 millimeter so but uh, let me get this off and we'll go from there so two bolts out the muffler comes off it's a pretty heavy duty muffler i'm impressed with that you can also adjust the deflector right? so first thing i gotta do is take the spark plug out just so we can get it on top dead center This is just so you can see the piston move. It's the only purpose of this. <clears throat> this is an actual Kohler brand spark plug. Now we'll go ahead and, <clears throat> go ahead and remove these four 10 millimeter drive bolts. Now, obviously, this is a brand new engine, and it don't have uh, any oil in it, like any actual. Well, it'll probably be like a coating on everything because they do run these at the factory but <clears throat> be aware that there probably will be a little bit of oil come out so keep a put a rag underneath it or something just to make sure that uh, you don't have a mess to deal with Most time you can just tap on something like this and it'll come off. But I might turn the gasket up. I don't have another one for it. So before you do this, you I recommend getting another gasket just to have on hand. <clears throat> Looks like it just has sealing on it. So this is your valve cover. And this is your oil breather hook up here. This hose here. You gotta remember to hook that back up. This is your rock arms. So now, if you can't see the piston, if you can. So right now it's the exhaust valve opening. You can see the piston coming up. Now the intake valve is starting to open. The piston's coming up. And compression. That's its highest point. Most engines you adjust the, the valves at top dead center. So now I gotta look up the valve specs for this because I don't know them right off the top of my head. And we'll go from there. So this don't actually have a gasket on it. Most of these do. They just have a sealant on there, so I'll probably scrape this off and put a little bit of sealant back on it. Okay, with the valve cover removed, we'll need three tools. We a 10 millimeter wrench to fit the small nut that locks it down and a 14 millimeter nut to lock to uh, hold the main adjustment part and a feeler gauge. Now the intake valve is set between 8 and 17 thousandths. So let's see what it's set at right now. I can't get the 8 in there so apparently it's not set right from the factory. Unless the specs I looked up are wrong. That's right at three, probably about two and a half or three. It feels a little, a little tight to me. Exhaust is at right at five. So let me check the specs again just to make sure I'm looking up the right specs. 
Okay, so you gotta hold this to keep the adjustment from getting too far out. Loosen this nut. Just like that. Back it off a little bit. So now you can adjust this back part, which is what actually sets your clearance. <coughs> so I'm gonna back it up a little bit so you can see exactly what I gotta do here. So you get it in between the rock arm and the top of the valve stem, which is the part right here that you see. And that's what you use, that's where the distance you're measuring at. So then you want to tighten this up until it just touches it. You should just get just a little bit of resistance like this. If you can't move it at all or it just falls out. And it's either too tight or too loose, so you want to get it just where it, you know, it'll barely hold it. And run your lock nut back in. This is the tricky part. You can't move this wrench, so if you do, you're going to mess the setting up. So while you're tightening this, this wrench has to stay in the exact spot where your setting will get messed up. A little bit on the snug side, but that'll be just fine. And verify that it's tight. I'm going to try to back this off just the tiniest bit. Now let's check it again. This is also done with the engine cold to get the best results. It's a little bit stiffer than I would like, but it was already set kind of tight from the factory, so it'll probably be alright. Now the setting for the exhaust valve one to two thousandths which I feel is way too tight for this so we're going to set it we're going to see what it's at first we might just leave it alone but it'll adjust the same like I said I think it was at a five but what I said let's see if it's at a five we'll just leave it alone yeah it's, it's right there so we'll just leave it alone but I do feel like that one wasn't set right so, pretty much all there is for that. So, next thing you want to do is uh, clean this little bit of gasket material that's on here off and put just a little bit of fresh sealant. We'll be ready to do that and we'll be ready for reassembly. Clean it off of this as well and we'll put some new on and put it back together. Alright, so I put a very light coat of uh, former gasket on this, what I've always used for gaskets like this. I'd have much preferred, preferred having an actual uh, gasket on this. I don't know why they went with that, but it is what it is. Now, ordinarily I would tighten bolts in a cross pattern or something like this, but anytime it's something like this, I always do the bottom two, then the top ones, just so you know you're getting a good seal on the bottom, because that's the main place it's going to leak at. There's a torque spec on these. I'm just going back to pretty much where it was. It's not a super critical like a head bolt. I'm going to snow them all. Just to make sure everything's seated in. And they're pretty stuck. pretty much all you gotta do. I got a little bit of former gasket on there so I'm gonna clean that off and I'm gonna proceed to put the muffler and the spark plug on off camera. Well guys that's pretty much it. Got everything back together. No issues. Um, pretty much ready to go. Got to put gas and oil in it for ready for the first start. So there's also two other videos as I mentioned there's one on the carburetor and the third video is the unboxing and getting it running so I haven't even finished that video yet because I uh, wait till I get everything done to get it running the way I didn't have to worry about gas and oil and everything so uh, well guys I guess that's about it if you got any other questions or comments or anything else from this engine you'd like to see let me know and we'll make a video on it so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you later